All right, sketching quadratic functions. Now a quadratic function has got the general form or is simply found in the form x squared, a function that has got power 2. That's a quadratic. When you are sketching such a function, a quadratic, with a square on top like that, this function passes through the point 0, 0. It goes up. So every time you see x is positive, then it is going to go up the way you are able to see like that. If we attach a negative, it means it will be going towards negative values of y. So it just changes directions. So a quadratic can either go up or come down like that, just those two. Now we are able to add different constants. So let's say I've got negative x squared and then I say plus 4. So this 4 has been added outside the squared part. So this will change the y value of the turning point. So that will be positive 4. Okay, it will change that positive 4. Remember this is still negative, meaning that it will be going down. So it will be 10, it will 10 directions like that. So if this function, this was positive, but this is still a positive 4. It means it is still at 4, but it will be going up. So it will 10 directions like that. For a quadratic function, when you get to remove something from the x or add something from the x and then you square, equate what is inside to 0. Okay, equate what is inside to 0. And that changes the y value. So x minus 2 equated to 0 will give you positive 2. I mean it changes the x value. So that will change the x value up to positive 2 from 0. Now you can see that there is a positive in front here, all right? Even if you can't see it, but you definitely tell that it's positive. So I mean this function is going to go up like this. So that is how the function goes. So if there was a negative in front here, then this function would have gone down from that coordinate. So the same way it is, let me now make it, uh, let me make it a positive 2, and then let's say we have got a minus 4 there. So when you equate this to 0, that will give you a negative 2, meaning that x value has been changed to negative 2. And then this thing which is added outside the negative 4, or move the y value, meaning that it is going to be starting at negative 4. So the turning point is at negative 2, comma negative 4. Now if you see the sign in front of the x is positive, meaning that the function is supposed to be going up from the turning point. Okay, so it will go like this. Now because where the function is located, it can, look, it can either pass like this, it can cut before passing the point 0, comma 0, or it can come and pass through the point 0, 0, or it can actually pass beyond the point 0, 0. So that is something that you should be able to determine easily. So just say let x be equal to 0. So put 0 here. So that would be 0 plus 2, that would be 2 squared. Uh, 2. 2 squared is 4, 4 minus 4 is 0. You see that when x is 0, y also be 0, mean that this is going to pass through the point 0, 0. So if this came in the exam, you make it pass here, you will get it wrong. They will remove the mark from making it pass at your position. So when you are sketching quadratic function, another thing that you need to make sure to find is, you need to find these two points, we call them x-intercepts, where the x-axis is cutting. And then you need to find the the y-intercept, where you are cutting the y-axis, and then the turning point. Those are the things you need to find. So, let's now look at other questions. What of the ones I've given is already completed the square. What of if they've not completed the square? Now, they've just asked you to sketch. Let's say you have got f of x, which is equal to x minus, let's say, 3x, and then plus 4. You want to sketch such a function. So the first thing is make sure that the number in front of x squared is a 1. So already this one is a 1. So we can go directly into completing the squares. Okay. All we are doing is we are expressing it in the form a open brackets, b plus, actually a open brackets, x plus c squared plus d. This is the form that we express it. That's completing the squares. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at these first two terms. I'll write x and then without a square, minus. I'll look at the half of 3. Now, because we don't deal with decimals, we know the half of 3 is going to be a decimal. So just write 3 over 2. Okay? And then put a square on top. And always subtract, write a minus here. This same term you are able to see, you square it. So 3 squared will give you 9. The 2 in the denominator squared will give you a 4. So this term here is the same as what I've written in white. And then I'll write a positive 4 at the end, which is this one. And then this is going to give you x minus 3 over 2 squared. Now 4, since this denominator has got a 4, I want to write 4 with a denominator of 4 down. So we know that 4 is the same as 4 over 1. So if I want the denominator to be 4, I multiply on top by 4, also down by 4, because we don't deal with calculators. So this is 4 times 4, which is 16. So this is going to be negative 9 plus 16. Negative 9 plus 16, that should be a 7. And then, since the denominator is the same, I'll just write that denominator, which is a 4. Esther, yes, please. You get the half. The half of 3 is the 3 over 2. Is that okay? Alright. Yes. So, from here, we've completed the squares of which at this point. So, from this, we can determine the turning point. The turning point, get this value which is here, equate it to 0. In other words, just change the sign, which is going to give you positive 3 over 2. And then, this will be the y value of the turning point, which is 13 over 4. So you can now sketch the graph. The turning point is at 3 over 2. Let me say 3 over 2 is here. And then 13 over 4. Let's say it is here. Now because this function is positive, what does that mean? To be going up towards positive values of 4. Why? So it will be going like this. So for this function, even if you wanted to solve, it doesn't have x inter intercepts. So if you equate this function to 0, you want to solve for x, you will not be able to solve for x. It will give you square root of a negative number. So the only thing that you are able to find is where the function is going to cut the y-axis, if you want to gain 4 marks. And that point where it cuts the y-axis, x is equal to 0. So put 0 here, put 0 here. So that is going to be positive 4. So this is going to be a 4 here. So you sketched and you gain all the marks at this point. You can consider another example. So say we have got f of x, which is equal to 3x squared. Let me, let me use an even number. 2x squared minus... 2x and then plus 1 or let me say plus 3 permit me just to put a negative in front here so that you make it just interesting so that is negative 2x squared minus 2x plus 3 now I want to sketch such a function remember the first thing is make sure that x squared has got a coefficient of 1 so meaning that I'm for just get the, the first two which have got x the constant leave it alone. So I'm going to remove a negative 2 because it's common. And then we are going to remain with x squared plus x. And then we are going to have plus 3 at the end. Now we complete the square. So the one which is inside here, the x squared plus x. So I'm now going to say negative 2. I'll first write a bigger bracket. Because this negative 2 is going to apply, is applying to the O of x squared plus x. And then I'll write a small one inside. Instead of writing x squared, I'll just write x. We know the number in front of x here is 1. So I'll find the half of 1, which is just 1 over 2. I'll close. I've written a positive here because this was positive. And then I'll square that. Please, I said always subtract, always subtract. 
get this number which is here, you square it. So one squared will give you one. Two squared will give you four. And then close. So what I've written inside here is the same as this portion which is here. And then at the end write a positive three. So this is going to give you, now multiply negative two with everything. Negative two times this, that will be negative two. Open brackets, x plus one over two squared. And then negative two times negative two. 1 over 4, that to give us positive 1 over 2 because a 2 can cancel with there. Yeah. And then we have got a 3 at the end like that. Now we know that 3 is the same as 3 over 1. Since we have got a 2 here, I want also the denominator to be a 2 so that it will be easy for me to work. So I multiply on top by 2, even down by a 2. I have not changed anything mathematically. So it will be negative 2, x plus 1 over 2 squared plus. We know this is a 6. So 6 plus 1, that will give us a 7. The denominator is common, so we'll just write a 2. And that the turning point of this quadratic is going to be, just get what is inside here, change the sign. That will be a negative 1 over 2. And then the 7 over 2, just get it. You don't change the sign. So that's the turning point. We can now sketch. So the x value is at negative 1 over 2. Let me say negative 1 over 2 is here. Y value is at positive 7 over 2, which is about 3 and a half. So here is the turning point. Now if you see this thing has got a negative in front, okay? The negative in front means that it is going to be going down. So its function is going to go like that and like that. By the way, I will again mention it. Every time you, you want to cut something this side, the chances are it can come and cut before 0, 0. Oh, s sorry that it has taken a bit of time for it to reflect. Okay, it can cut before 0, 0. It can cut at 0, 0. Or it can cut beyond 0, 0. So you need to determine where it's going to pass if you want to gain it. So you do make x subject, make x zero, okay? You come and put here. So when x is zero, this is going to be zero, this is going to be zero. Meaning that the y-intercept is supposed to be positive three. So y-intercept is positive three, positive three is somewhere here. This is good, good. So meaning that where it's going to pass is definitely there, like that. So that is how it's supposed to pass. Now the other things that you need to find, you need to find this value here and this value here, which we call the x-intercepts. You can either equate this function to zero, you factorize. Sometimes if you can't factorize, you use the quadratic formula. But you can as well take it from the last step. Okay, the last step which is already expressed in the, uh, which is already completed the square. So just equate this to zero. So what do you do? Take this term the other side, or let me take this term the other side. So we're going to have two open brackets, x plus one over two squared, and that will be equal to seven over two. And then from here, I want to do away with this two. So I'm going to multiply everything by one over two. So these two will be done away with. So I'm going to remain with x plus 1 over 2 squared. That will be equal to also 1 over 2 times 7 over 2. That will give us 7 over 4. At this point, square root both sides. So I'm going to get x plus 1 over 2 being equal to. We know that this is going to be positive or negative, right? We don't know the square root of 7. But we know the square root of 4 is a 2. So I'll just write 2 down. Okay. And then I'll take the 1 over to the other side. So I'm going to have x being equal to negative 1 over 2 plus or minus square root of 7 divided by 2. So I'm going to have two possible values. So meaning that x is going to be, if I use a positive, 
if I use a positive on the middle here, then we are going to have negative 1 plus square root of 7. Remember the denominator is common, so that will be over 2. Or x is going to be, I'll use a negative, negative 1 minus square root of 7 over 2. So these are the ones you are going to write here. So the, the coordinates of this point, you definitely use the negative one, right? That will be negative 1 minus square root of 7 over 2. The y value is 0 if they want you to write it as a coordinate. And then also write this coordinate here, which is negative 1 plus square root of 7 over 2. The y coordinate is also 0. Please also write this one here. The x value is what? 0. The y value, we found uh, here 3. So if you write all these coordinates, also include, write also the turning point. The turning point, negative 1 over 2, comma 7 over 2. You've gained all the marks at this point.